Hi everyone, my name is Rocky, aka The Coralito, and today I am making a video. I don't know when it's gonna last, but I'm back on YouTube for now. Last week, I sent my water sample to Uziamo to get tested, ICPMS, and today I received an email. I got the results. I decided to make a YouTube video and share it to you guys because why not? You deserve to see what a perfect water looks like. What? Because you know, I have a perfect water. Everything is fun. The SPS are growing crazy. Great colors. Everything is just perfect. Yes. So let's see. <laughs> let's get it on. Okay, so there you go. <gasps> okay. What? Are you guys sure this is my water? I see some greens, some yellows. Wait. This can't be my water because there's some reds on some of the elements. I, I really don't think this is my water. I think I know what happened. I think there's some mix up with the shipping and they... No, because yeah. I really think there's some mix up because yeah, I, I think this is like my neighbor's water. I don't know. But for the sake of the video, let's do the review. Main parameters, let's start with salinity. Ooh, 36.6 PSU. That's my salinity at the time. The ideal value is 35, which I agree. I like the salinity at 35, but I heard before that the SPS can go up to 37. I would love to be in between 35, 37, so 36.6, I'm happy with that, but it shouldn't be more than 37. Okay, alkalinity, 8.31. Ideal value, it says here, 7.5. Ideal value at 7.5, to me, that's too low. I like my alkalinity at 8. 45. So with my alkalinity at the time of sampling at 8.31, I'm happy with that. I think that's good. I'm happy with 8.31. But I like my alkalinity at 8.45. The main elements, so we have calcium. Measured value, 505. Ideal value is 460. So I like my calcium at 450 and my calcium being at 505 is not that bad. I'm actually fine with it, 505. I would want to see 450. Maybe I'm gonna lower a little bit my dosing with calcium, but 505 is not a concern for me. Boron, I have 6.4. The L value as per Oceamo is 4.7. And I have a green rating, so that's fine as well. Ooh, bromide. 105. The measured value is 105. The ideal value is 70. So I'm like 35 higher than the ideal value as per as Yamo, but I don't really remember my target value for bromide, but we'll see later when it's about time to put all these values in the assessment sheet. Potassium. Potassium 412, that's the measured value. And the ideal value is 418. So good job, potassium. 412, ideal value is 418. I'm there. All right, magnesium. Magnesium 1389. Very good. And ideal value, it says here, as per CMO, 1359. So I want my magnesium at 1350. So me being at 1389, that's very good. I only dose when it's low. Strun strontium. Did I pronounce that correctly? Strontium. 8.6. And the ideal value is 8.4. Ooh. On the spot. So we're good at strontium. Moving on to trace elements. So far, we're doing great. So maybe this is really my water. I don't think there's a mix up. So far, it's a perfect water. Yes. So trace elements, we have barium. Oh, we have green rating. Barium measured at 32.72. And the ideal value is between 10 to 100. So we're good. As per Osiamo, but later on, again, we will see if we actually reach the target as per the assessment sheet. So we'll see. I'm pretty sure we're still gonna dose some of the elements. Chromium at 0.29 and the ideal value is 0.2 to 0.5. So we're good at 0.29. For cobalt, we have 0.11 and the ideal value is between 0.05 to 0.2. So we're actually good. We got green rating. So cobalt. We're doing iron, ooh, 
iron is kind of low at 0 0.05 and the ideal value is 0.123 so we're low okay next we have fluoride fluoride at 1.85 and ideal value is 1.3 we're a little bit higher but 1.85 is not that bad iodine 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 14 i got 14 that's very low. Ideal value is 50 to 70, so I got red. Right now, I'm dosing 0.5 ml of CCHEM iodide, but when I was away for three weeks, no one was dosing iodine, so that was probably why. I think I'm still gonna do 0.5 ml and then see what it's gonna be on the next ICP because iodine is something you don't wanna overdose. It can crash your tank if you're overdosing your iodine. Okay, copper. I have 0 0.08. The ideal value is 0.2 to 2. So imagine some people People would say you shouldn't have any copper in your tank but it's actually trace element so maybe it's time for me to dose some copper but it is something that I have to research because I haven't dosed copper in my system so and of course if you have a lot of copper it's gonna kill your corals too it's one of the things that will crash your tank so be careful manganese we, I got 0.10 and it says here the ideal value is 0.2 to 1.0 so manganese is something that depletes very fast right now I'm dosing 10 ml molybdenum I don't know if I pronounce that right molybdenum it's at 11.7 Ideal value is between 10 to 15, so I'm actually right there. All right, we have nickel, which is 1.47, and the ideal value is 2 to 5. So I will have to dose more of the nickel. Right now, I'm dosing 5 ml of Reef Moonshiner's nickel. Maybe I will raise it a little bit and see next ICP. We have rubidium at 234.1 and the ideal value is 90 to 150. Actually, a few months ago, I kind of overdosed and it went up to 500. So 234, we're, you know, we're going back down. Okay, next is selenium. Selenium, I got 0.74 and the ideal value is between 0.2 and 0.5. So looks like I'm gonna be stopping dosing selenium for a few days. It's not a concern, so I wouldn't panic. No! Vanadium. So I got 0.97. The ideal value is 2 to 3, so I'm low. So I'm going to be dosing again because I actually stopped dosing it. I kind of overdosed it a little bit a few months ago. Zinc at 1.97, and the ideal value is 1.3. Good job. So right now I'm dosing zinc at 0.5 ml every day looks like we're gonna be continuing doing that okay next is tin and we got 1.08 and the ideal value is 0 0.05 to 1.0 okay now we're moving on to some metals this are something you don't want to have they should be undetectable at any point overall i'm good it's showing green but i have some a little bit aluminum at 39.5 which is very good. I used to have 300 antimony at 1.164. I don't know what cadmium is. And the rest of the pollutants are not detectable. So that's great. Moving on to nutrients. So this is something you can really confirm that this is my water because the nutrients are kind of high. I have to apologize to Oshamo because Aww. just looking at the nutrients, now I can confirm that this is my water. For some reason, it's not perfect. For some reason, it's not perfect. I don't know what happened. Maybe I was away for three weeks. That was the reason. I get it. <laughs> okay. Nutrients. I got phosphate at 0.125. I like that number. 0.125. I like that number. Okay. Nitrate at 41.88. That's very good. I like the number. That's my numbers. It says it's red, but I actually like that volume. I like my nitrate at that level. Phosphate, I would probably raise it a little bit. I just love nutrients. I don't think I'm gonna run a, a low nutrient system. Silicon, I have 162. It's green. I would say that's not a concern. And then Osmos is your RODI. There's no copper, 
no zinc but i got some silicon at 87 so that's probably why the silicon is 162 in my tank every time i see silicon in rodi that means it's time to change the di part that's what i'm gonna be changing it's time for me to input all of these values in the reef moonshiners assessment sheet and also in the ATI assessment sheet that I made because I incorporated ATI into the system. A few moments later. Okay, so I just finished inputting all the values in both Reef Moonshiners and ATI assessment sheet. As per Reef Moonshiners assessment sheet, uh, I need to dose strontium at 13.25 mO per day for two days. I also need to dose, ooh, so this is kind of surprising. I will have to dose 67.35 of rubidium for one day. So I thought I was high. So the target for Reef Moonshiners method for rubidium is actually 300 and I got 234. As per OCMO, the ideal value is 92,150. It would always depend on the method you're using. So in this case, I'm using Reef Moonshiners method. So I'm going to be following Reef Moonshiners. Okay, I also need to dose iodine. And as per Reef Moonshiners, the target level would be 75 to 95. So I'm way lower than that. So it also says here that I have the dose molybdenum 16.86 ml per day for two days. Also nickel 3.51 ml for three days. Also zinc at 1.55 ml for two days. Based on the dosing summary for reef moonshiners, this is not bad at all. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with the values. I'm happy with the results. I guess this is my water. I mean the nutrient level confirmed that it is my water. With ATI I'm only using Bromine, Borum, Fluorine or Fluoride, and Barium. Those four elements. And the reason why is because they have 1000 ml, which is cheaper. So I always try to look for a cheaper alternative and at the same time giving you the same result. Alright, so there you have it guys. So that is my water. That's my ICP test result. And for the first time, I showed it to you. It's time to dose. I am happy with the values. There's no concern. Not a lot of reds. I'm happy I can sleep tonight. I will just dose whatever is needed. And yeah, thank you for watching.